last time as a gentleman leave my house <sighs> okay I'll go I guess you need some time to cool off so I'll just let you be for now But on a more serious note, Timmy, I'd really appreciate it if you stayed away from Yvonne. Because if I learned that you're sneaking around with her, both of you would really, really have it hot with me. <laughs> I'm just warning you. I wonder what's giving you all these airs. If I want to see Yvonne, there is nothing you can do about it. And you know what? I want absolutely nothing to do with either of you. You three are evil women. So get the hell out of my house! I came to ask you to please reconsider, sir. I'm sorry that my mind is made up. We can no longer work together for obvious reasons. I love my family so much, I cannot afford to have anything come between us. And we cannot continue working the way we've been doing. Just like that? After almost six years of serving you, all I get is a sack? Ada, you cost it. So please leave. I will make sure you get all your entitlements. I guess it's good by then. But you know, if I were you, I will not take my allegations as the mere rantings of a deranged woman. I would look into it so as not to be regarded as a fool by all and sundry. with my husband, Damien. You don't mean that, do you? Oh, I mean every word of it. And come to think of it, Bill, I was not in your agenda when you were coming. Whatever I do, my children must come first and their well-being. If I leave Damien now, I will destroy them and mar them for life. William, please, if you ever loved me, you would just walk away from me now. Rubbish! You hear me? Absolute rubbish! You are my wife, so I'm not going to give you up for anybody. Not your kids, not the demon, not to any bloody human being, you hear me? I loved you first, and that's why I married you. I want to get you back, baby, and I'm going to do that or die trying. You understand that? You understand me? William, you're hurting me. Oh, my baby. I don't want to hurt you. You're my heartbeat. I, I can do anything for you. If I hurt you, I hurt myself. Tell me you love me, damn it! I love you! Say it like you mean it. Say it like you really mean it. Come on, remember back then in Manhattan, New York? You used to beg for it. You, you begged me with passion. Listen, baby. I want to hear that passion in your voice right now. I want you to assure me that you really love me. You really love me. 
I love you. Oh, my baby. You know, I can do anything for you. Oh, I love you. If I hurt you, I hurt myself. children. They're still in school. It is past their closing time and you're here naked with my friend in my own sitting room. You leave my children out in the sun so you can satisfy your insatiable sexual desire? Slimy bastard out of my house before I return. Let her be! What's the matter with you? If you want to hit somebody, beat me! Go ahead and hit me! It's all my fault! You'll get your slimy, filthy self out of my sight. How could you betray me like this after, after all I have done for you? You ungrateful wretch! You slimy son of a dog! You bastard! Slow down with this old man! Slow down right now! And don't make me lose my temper because I'm trying so hard right now to control it! You even have the nerve to open your mouth and utter such nonsense after you violated my wife? I got every right to this woman as much as you do over her! What did you say? You heard me! You heard me real good. I married her 11 years ago according to the laws of the Republic of Ireland. Lived there three years before moving on to the United States of America. And even while in America, I never gave her a divorce, not even one day. So tell me, man, what sin have I committed by kissing my own wife? Tell me. I'm sure you're out of your mind. Maybe. Just maybe. But I'm gonna give your wife, our wife, the opportunity, the honor of explaining herself to you. Cause you guys have a lot to catch up on. And the kids. From all my calculations, those kids may as well be my children, not yours. You get that? They may be my kids, not yours. So think. They may be my kids. So, Emerald? 
Please, you know how suspicious that uh, all these mm -hmm. INS people get? They just show up at your house to verify if you're husband and wife. I understand what William is doing. Just let him get his papers and everything will be fine. No, and something is wrong. I mean, people do this every day. They didn't even have to move in together. He's up to something and I'm not finding this funny. Nothing is happening, Emerald. You know how ambitious William is. Just trying to get his paper so he can do his business properly and buy you everything that you need. My only concern is that girl Annette he's living with. You know, she's a wild girl. She hangs out with some unscrupulous individual. The sooner he gets his paper and get out of there, the better for all those concerned. I, mean, I don't like this. I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable, okay? I just don't feel right. Well, babe, this is the situation, baby. Believe it. Look, I just want to go home. I want to go back to Nigeria. I'm sick of it don't here. Don't sound so straight, honey. This is America. Land of opportunity. Just be patient. Everything will be fine. Come on, say it with me. Everything will be fine. Let me see that smile. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs>
That was exactly what happened. I never heard from William again after the bomb blast. I thought that he was dead. I couldn't reach any member of his family because he, he never introduced me to anyone. I was so lost and confused. Then you showed up. I couldn't find myself to tell you at first. Then everything happened so fast. Then I came back to Nigeria with you. We got married. You got married to me without telling me you were once married? Even if you thought your husband was dead. Damien, please, I am sorry. I meant to tell you. I meant when? to. You meant to tell me when? When we are old and gray? If you can keep such a secret from me. If you could keep such a secret from me, then you can kill. You have a wicked heart and I cannot live with such a witch in the same house. Don't make me use force, but I will if necessary. Just leave my house. Right this minute, leave my house. Damien, please. Damien, please think about the children. Leave. Think about the children. They're too young to be separated from their mother. They're you should have thought of that before plotting your evil. Hey, Jesus. I don't want you near those kids ever again. You're not even allowed to go to their school and see them. Do I make myself clear? Tell me, you cannot separate the children from their mother. You cannot do this to me. Tell me, please. <laughs> Those children are mine. I don't know what went on between you and Bill, but those children are mine and mine alone. So don't even think of telling me that Bill is their father because that story just won't wash. Don't make me use force against you, but I will if necessary. Just get lost. Leave my house before I squeeze the life out of you because that's exactly what you deserve, death.
This is just insane A shame A shame If you really must know Something called love It's no joke It ain't no joke, baby It's not something you can play with So, so So, so, so Matters of the heart It hurts so bad Don't even try The reason why you shouldn't try Baby, you should know Where is who? Where is my boyfriend, Yvonne? Why would you come to my house to look for your boyfriend? Eh, hey, please, 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 Yvonne, don't even, don't even place that matter with me. Just produce Timisa right now. Oh, well, Timisa is not in my house. And please, Candice, I would really appreciate it if you called me before come showing up at my doorstep next time. And I will appreciate it if you kept your filthy hands away from my boyfriend, Yvonne. Whoa, 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 Candice, you're really getting so far. You know, one of these days, I have a feeling I'm going to pull your hair right out of your skull. Yvonne, I will be doing the hair pulling very soon. If you do not stay away from my fiancé, are you hearing me? I am warning you. <laughs> oh, Candice. You know, I strongly advise that you check yourself into a psychiatric hospital because you're fast becoming a nutcase. I mean, come to think of it, if your relationship with your boyfriend has gone right over the bend, then that's not my fault. It's yours. You started this, remember? I mean, did you ever think that the whole world will bow at your feet and then simply because <laughs> the superstar, megastar Candice Bassey has just sneezed? Girl, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but life doesn't start and end with the gospel according to Candice. Even you can rant and raise all you want, hmm? but I am going to speak now and you will listen. Do not pull any more stunts with my boyfriend because I will fight you. Yvonne, I will fight you and you will live to regret it. Do you hear me? Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know how much. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. When are you coming back, mommy? I'll come as soon as I can. Okay. Your daddy is very angry with me now, so I have to stay away for a while. But why is daddy angry with you? It's a long story, but when you grow up some more, I'll tell you, okay? Whatever happens, I love you. But mommy, I, I love, love you guys too. so much, and daddy loves you too, okay? It's just that sometimes, mommy's and daddy's quarrel, and, and, and they just need to be away from you, okay? Okay? You guys, it's just...
kill. Get into the car right now. Get into the car. Don't make me get a restraining order against you because I will if you're not careful. I will get you arrested. Arrested? Arrested for wanting to see my children. Arrested for wanting to feel the arms of my children around me. They <laughs> not really you become so heartless with. Ever since you betrayed my trust and got into bed with my best friend right under my roof. Ever since I discovered that you're not a Jezebel. Ever since you debased womanhood by sleeping with a man right in the presence of my children. Ever oh, since... I've begged you now. I've begged you. I've explained. I've tried. I've done everything. And I'm not prepared to listen to your lies anymore, Emma. This marriage is over. Get that into your thick head and stay the hell away from my children. I'm warning you. Your children? You, they're my children too. Why are you talking as if I didn't take part in bringing those children to life? Damien, whether you like it or not, I am their mother. And I will fight with the last drop of my blood. I will fight with every weapon that is available to me because they are my children and I will not lose them to anyone, not even you! And I'm prepared for the fight, Emma. Weapon for weapon, word for word. Whatever means you choose, I'm equal to the task. Even if you try to pull the stunt about the children belonging to Bill. I will so expose you to the entire world and show them what a pathetic liar you are. Emma, I can be a wonderful man. But I can also be the meanest son of a bitch this side of the planet. You just try me. Come here, my children, one more time. And the battle line is drawn. Could it be that I was so unlucky? Oh, me. Could I have known my past would come forth looking for me? Today I shed my tears, tears of yesteryears. Like the saying goes, I stand between the devil and the deep blue sea. Oh my goodness, what could I be thinking? Oh me, can't believe that yesterday is knocking, haunting me. If I could make a wish, I'd wish to disappear, to hide away from all the... I guess we have no option than to go to court. I'm not sure I want to expose my kids to that kind of ridicule. So what do you want to do? I don't know, Bill, I don't know. I think going to court is the best option. I can't win. The odds are against me. He's going to say I'm an unfit mother. Evidence of me committing adultery and the fact that I have absolutely no source of income. And then the issue of bigamy, which I am guilty of. I mean, however you look at it, I will lose. You are too pessimistic, my dear. Listen. I think we got this situation under control. Because I believe that those kids are mine. You said you discovered you were pregnant shortly after you met him, right? And two weeks before I was arrested, I was with you. So the kids may be mine. But 
But how does that help me? I mean, this will just go on to prove my responsibility. And no court will grant custody of little children to an irresponsible woman. You're not irresponsible. You're not. Listen, those kids, they need you as much as you need them. So you gotta fight for them. Use any means available to you. And I'm here to back you up. Okay? Did I get myself into this? How did I do this? Wallowing in self-pity is not going to help you. Those kids, they need you as much as you need them. So let's swing into action right now. Yeah. Swing into action right away. Mm -hmm. doing here? I came to see you and to find out how you're doing. As you can see, I'm doing very okay. So you can go back to wherever you came from. I heard you asked Emma to leave. How does that concern you? See, I wanted to know if you needed my help, you know, taking care of the children and all that. You know, being alone and all that isn't easy. Not to talk of taking care of two small children. But you see, I'm willing to forgive the way you treated me. Move in here and help you take care of the children. <laughs> I have heard about skimming women, but my God, you certainly take the cake. They say God created women and since then he has not rested and it is true. How can he rest with shameless serpents like you prowling the face of the earth? Thank God I've been delivered from the clutches of all you daughters of Jezebel. Let me tell you something. Do yourself a favor and take your nasty skin body out of my sight now. Well... Nobody can say I did not try. I am still not available. Defense counsel is going to. He wants to portray you as an unfit and an irresponsible mother. I know that's very dangerous. I don't really care about all that. I don't care how dangerous it is. All I want is justice. Those kids are mine. Justice? <laughs> Have you considered the psychological trauma those kids are going to be exposed to? That's exactly what I was afraid of. But I want my children. I can't give them up. Look, I don't care how. I don't want to know how it's done. I just want my kids back. Madam, you really want those kids back? I want my children. Please, just let's go for it. Anything, whatever it takes, please. Please yourself. Madam, you slept with Mr. Williams Oko two weekends before he was supposedly killed in the bomb blast in the US. 
Yes. And this was in February 1996? Yes. And I gave birth to my set of twins nine months after. And then you met husband number two. After husband number one had been killed in the bomb blast. Objection, my lord. In this case, there is no husband one or two. Objection sustained. You can reframe your question in defense counsel. Ask your lordship, please. You met Damien three weeks after William Oko was supposed to have been killed in the bomb blast. Yes. And then you slept with him after your husband was supposed to have more. <laughs> I find that very interesting. I slept with him after he proposed marriage. However, the circumstances that led to my husband's disappearance and, and, and the subsequent bomb blast didn't give me time to mourn him. I, I was angry, I was, I was crying. Mm. I understand. Even in death. <laughs> Did you tell your husband of your pregnancy? Two months after we met. Did you tell him you were formally married? I didn't have time to tell him. We met, okay? He, he swept me off my feet. I, there was no time to tell him anything. And, and in my condition, in, in my situation, in my state of mind, I needed a friend. I needed somebody to lean on. And Damien fitted perfectly as the pawn. He was not a pawn. We had something going for us, something strong, too, until my first husband showed up and... Order! Order. Order. Go, 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 go on, go on. <laughs> I'm finding this very interesting. Interesting story. Until Bill came. And now that William or Bill has appeared on the field, you want your husband or reserve husband to go back to his reserve bench? Look at. I just want my life back. I want my children. I want to be with my children. That's all I'm asking. Madam, are you aware of the offense known as bigamy? A woman with two husbands and... No, no, it's okay. Do you realize that what you've committed is called bigamy? I thought that one of the reasons we're here is to prove that at the time I married Damien, I didn't know that Bill was alive. I thought he was dead. Did you inform your in-laws of the death of your husband during the bomb blast? I made efforts. I was trying to treat everybody. Did you tell them that while your husband had died in the bomb blast, that um, you were carrying his children between? Everything happened so fast. That will be all for the witness, my lord. God for Christianity, Mr. Damien. Because under the African religion, the offense you have just committed would have ended you instant death by hanging. Do you know that? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, you will not know. You took another man's wife away for eight years. And you do not know what I'm talking about. I never did any such thing. Yes, you did. Listen, listen. I met Emma. United States of America, we fell in love, we got married, and we came back to Nigeria. And in all the eight years that we've been married, not for once, not for once has she ever told me that she had once been married. So romantic. Now that you know, you want to drive her away and retain the fruit of a marriage you do not know nothing about. Mr. Damien. These two children are the fruit of my liaison with Emma. These children are the fruit of your liaison from Emma. These children are the children of Emma. And these same children, are you aware that she was pregnant when you took her away from the US? There was no such thing. Of course there was. There was no such thing. Okay, a few weeks after I proposed to her, she told me she was pregnant and showed me the medical report. She was not pregnant while we were in the United States. She was not pregnant. Have you heard the popular saying that it is the only mother of a child, the only mother of a child that can truly say, in quotes, that can truly say, Mr. Damien, 
who truly the father of her child is. Well, interestingly, medical science has added another person. I do not know such a person, Mr. Damien. The only person I know about the mother of these children is telling me and is saying that Mr. William Oko is still rightful father. And I assume you have no objection to that, do you? Well, my lord, I would like this honorable court to determine the true paternity of these children from that other person. And that other person is a DNA test. Indeed. That will be all for the defendants. Court will adjourn. Excuse me, sir. Hello, little boy. What is it? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to my father, my mother, and Uncle Bill. Aha. Uh -huh. Would you want to talk to us in private? No. Right here in your office, in your court. Well then, Mr. Carver, can you please step down from the witness stand? Let the gentleman come up. Come on, my boy. What is it? Our mother told us that what is happening in our house now is a long story. She promised to tell us all about it when we grow up. But now we know. Now we know that at the end of all this, someone will tell me and my sister that the daddy we used to know is now my uncle. That uncle Bill, my new daddy. Somebody will tell us that we are now indigenous of Oka and no more Asaba. Our parents taught us not to lie. That lying is for the devil. But one of them is lying right here in this court. I don't know who. When Uncle Bill came to our house, Daddy told us he was a nice man. We played with him, joked with him. I told my friends about my uncle. What do I tell them now that he's claiming to be a new father? I'm taking our mother away. That's all right, my son. There's one thing I want you to know. And that is the promise I want to make right now that this court will never give you a wrong daddy. My ruling, in line with the defendant, I hereby order the plaintiff, the defendant, Emma, the mother of the twins, John and Jill, and the twins, to go for a DNA test at St. Nicholas Hospital, Lagos. This will enable the court to reach an incontrovertible decision on who is the real father of the twins. I therefore adjourn to the 25th of May. I rise.
You still come here? Yeah, sometimes when I need to think. And so much sports happen to have anything to do with it. I still love you. I said, I have never stopped loving you, not even for a second. Travel to the U.S. to search for greener pastures, just like every other Nigerian. While there, he met and eventually married Emma. Unfortunately, a month after the wedding, he was wrongfully arrested by the police for bomb an apartment he had visited. His wife, who has just then discovered that she was pregnant, thought he had died in the bomb blast that destroyed the apartment she went to. However, the plaintiff did not die. He was arrested and subsequently jailed for planting the bomb. While in jail, no day passed without him having lovely memories of his wife. He wrote letters to send messages to her, but all to no avail. Then finally, he was told the wife had gone back to Nigeria. Of course, he was heartbroken, just like every other man who genuinely would be when he's in love. Jailed for life, with nobody to turn to, he turned to God. And of course, indeed, God intervened. His case was revisited, and it was discovered that he had been wrongfully accused. So he was discharged and acquitted after seven years in jail. Yet, God was not through with him. Of all his friends in Nigeria, the Spirit of God led him to Damien. Of all his friends, the Spirit of God took him straight to the only one living with his wife and children. My Lord, it is the Lord's doing, and let's not be seen as asking the Almighty why he has reunited a long lost family after eight years. My Lord, Damon was only a custodian that God used. Today we're looking at the case of one man who for eight years lost his freedom, who for eight years lost his love, who for eight years was unaware that he had children. My love, today he has gained back his love, he has gained back his freedom. Are we going to deprive him from gaining back his children? I therefore urge this court to give full custody of the children to my client, Mr. William Oko, who is their rightful father. My Lord, this is the address of the plaintiff. My lord, this is a clear case of man's inhumanity to man. A man finally finds his long-lost friend and the exchange addresses. 
After some time, his friend calls him up and tells him he's in jail. A few years later, he calls him up again to tell him that he's been released and he would like to come back home. Without thinking, without even discussing with his wife, the man decides to rehabilitate his friend. He picks him up from the airport, takes him home, feeds him, clothes him, puts shelter over his head, gives him 15,000 naira every month, takes his CV to every company he goes to every time. And what does his friend do? Nothing. A show of ingratitude. Ingratitude. He wants the only thing, the only thing that his friend loves most in his life. His wife and his children. And naturally, the man resists. And what does he do? He takes his friend the benefactor to court and what do we say of the wife who he has married for eight years the man has given her access to money wealth care attention unquestionable fidelity undying love from her husband to a woman from the blues a man comes into her house in less than two months. She is caught pants down with him in her matrimonial home. Women have never ceased to amaze me. My Lord, it is obvious that the children, Jill and John, belong to their father, Mr. Damien Okafo. I therefore urge this court to give custody of these children to Mr. Damian Okafor as their biological father. To do contrary would be repugnant to social justice, equity, and good conscience. The defense rests its case. is a writ of summons filed by the plaintiff, Mr. William Boko, claiming the paternity of the twins, John and Jill, who are presently with the defendant, Mr. Damien Okafor. From the evidence adduced before me and having thoroughly perused the Submissions of the learned counsels about the plaintiff and the defendant, I have come to a conclusion that the issue for determination before this court is one, the time or period that Emma, the mother of the twins, John and Jill, became pregnant. Two, is it when she was cohabiting with the plaintiff, Mr. William Poco, or when she was cohabiting with the defendant, Mr. Damien Okafo? But before I proceed further, I must first of all condemn in totality the attitude of Emma, the mother of the twins, in the whole of this mess. She is a woman of no moral a disgrace to womanhood, who has succeeded in putting her children in a great psychological trauma that will be very, very difficult to erase. Such attitude or behavior from a woman should not be tolerated in a civilized society like ours. The twins 
John and Jill have a right to private and family life as enshrined in Chapter 4, Section 35 of the 1999 Constitution of Fed Federal Republic of Nigeria and should not be tossed around like a coin. From the DNA test carried out, the result shows conclusively and without any shadow of doubt that the father of the twins is none other than the defendant, Mr. Damien Okaf. Consequently, the right and natural place for the twins is their father's home, unless it is proved that their father is irresponsible and unsuitable. If there is anything else, the mother Emma has been proved to be irresponsible and unsuitable to keep the twins. I hereby make an order declaring the defendant Mr. Damien Okafor, the father of the twins, John and Jill. I also give custody to the defendant with visitation rights during the weekends to their mother, Emma. This is my judgment. As God pleases.
fall a big mistake to have it my own way. Cause now the 